Well, fans have all kinds of strategies when they go out to Nationals Park. That's right, but if you plan on driving on a Sunday or a holiday and you use metered parking in the area, well, folks, be prepared to pay. Stephen Sheen is live now to explain why the Department of Transportation is about to start charging for those spaces again. Stephen, what's the story here? Oh, Leon, it's about money. They want to generate more money. Parking meters bring in a lot of bucks. Now, DDOT stopped charging, stopped enforcing these meters around Nats Park because they were so confusing. The, the signage was so confusing that it just decided to, to bring it to a halt. Now, the district doesn't enforce parking meters on Sundays across the city, but did near Nats Park. Now, this led to a lot of confusion and then DDOT suspended the enforcement here, but now the new director says posting better signs should remedy the problem, the confusion, so enforcement on Sundays and holidays will resume. I don't understand it. Um, I think the city has enough money without trying to charge people to pay on the weekends, especially on a holiday and a Sunday, and it's baseball, you know? Come on, give us a break, <laughs> you know? Yeah, not a very popular move with the fans here down at Nats Park. Now, the first time it will be enforced, and DDOT says those new signs will be out, will be April 16th, Emancipation Day, the holiday. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Uh, you're right, man. It's all about that green.